Today's video is sponsored by Valspar. This is my dream woodworking shop, and it used to look like this. It was uninsulated with a dirt floor, and I put a ton of work into it. And this fall, I just finished this timber frame lean-to. And now what I wanna do is add a really cool shop sign. I'm gonna have it coming off of the lean-to over here. It's gonna be two-sided, have my logo on one side and a work hard, stay humble version on the other side. It's gonna have a nice, cool cedar roof on it. So let's jump inside out of the cold and get started. Red Oots, let's go. Not that way. Come on. Let's go. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is blow up my logos and print them off. I'm sure there's lots of ways to do it. I use Microsoft Paint because I'm a simple guy and it's uh, the easiest way that I know how to, so. Once I like the layout, I'll go ahead and print it off. Now with my printoffs, I'll go and trim all the edges, tape everything together to make my nice and large logos. All right, so my templates are all taped up nicely. I'm ready to start cutting some pieces out. I'm gonna be using MDO for the base and the letters on this sign. Now MDO stands for Medium Density Overlay. It's plywood that they put a MDF veneer on top, but that MDF is infused with different resins to make it really good for exterior use. It's good for sign building. It takes paint really well for a nice smooth finish. So we're gonna Glue these up using contact adhesive and get over to the bandsaw and start cutting. A lot of work ahead of us. So I only apply the spray adhesive to the paper side, which I found gives me the perfect amount of stick. It stays secure to the MDO while I cut, but then it'll peel off easily without leaving residue. If I apply it to the MDO as well, it really will glue down that paper really solid and makes it hard to get it off.
Now that all my straighter cuts are done, I'll switch to a narrower blade for the tighter curved cuts. All right, so that was a lot of cutting on the bandsaw. I got two big piles for each side of the sign, but we still have a bunch of centers to cut out that I couldn't get. I could only basically do the outsides of everything with the bandsaw. So we're gonna go get a little exercise in, have a little fun, and uh, go for a ride. What do you think? Want to? All right, while I cut up the rest of these pieces, I wanna talk about Valspar, which is the sponsor of this video. If you've followed my channel, you'll have seen me use lots of Valspar paint and products over the years. It's really the only paint that I'll use for both outdoor and indoor jobs. Valspar is the perfect choice for homeowners and DIY projects. You can go into the stores and get personalized help and pick out the ideal paints and colors or go online and check out all the color options and get a lot of nice inspiration there. Last video I built some bunk beds with my son and we used one of the curated colors of the year called Mountain River which turned out absolutely beautiful and for this project I'm using the colors Betsy Linen and Dark Kettle Black in Valspar's Duramax exterior paint. Valspar is also a great choice for professionals out there. Valspar and Lowe's have a lot of great programs and promotions for Valspar paint and if you're a pro and you haven't tried Valspar out yet, go to your pro desk at your local Lowe's and you can get up to 10 gallons free for your next job. There's links to more information down in the description. I want to thank Valspar again and let's get back to the project. All right, so I'm all done cutting all these pieces out and it's time to start sanding. What I did is marked the back of all the pieces with a line so I know what's the front and what's the back. And then I'm gonna go through and fill any holes in the plywood with some wood filler. Really wanna make sure all those voids are filled so that water doesn't get in there and destroy them. And then I'm just gonna use a variety of different sanding gizmos and papers and attachments to go through and sand all the outside edges of all these pieces and get them ready for paint. So let's get started on that. Whew, that was a ton of sanding, probably 
eight to 10 hours. I'm pretty happy that I'm done with that part of it. But now I'm gonna start painting all these pieces. I'm gonna prime them first. I'm using Valspar's exterior primer here. Anytime I use raw wood, especially if it's gonna be outside, I really like to prime it. I think that's super important. And I'm just gonna try to spray. I got a little section over here set up. I'm gonna try to spray all these smaller pieces. The really big pieces, I'll probably roll, but I just cannot hand paint all those. It would take forever and kill me and it probably wouldn't look quite as good. Hopefully this isn't too much of a pain and we uh, get some good results. So let's get into it. So this side is primed and you can see it's really bright white and if you can tell on camera this side has the first coat of that exterior Valspar Duramax and that Betsy linen on it which is more of an off-white cream color and it's going on really nice I'm really happy so far it looks awesome I got to give this side a second coat but first I'm going to put a first coat over on this side and then a second coat over here and then back to the second coat over on that side because it'll be dry by then I'm really excited because I think it's going to look awesome on that dark kettle black color for the background. Once all my pieces are painted and dry, I'm gonna first lay everything out, and then I'll go back in and glue every piece. I'm using a glue called Goop Max 2 and CA glue. The Goop stuff is an outdoor glue that has some flex to it, which is important on an exterior sign like this that's gonna have a lot of weather that it needs to endure. The CA glue is just gonna help it dry and hold really quick while the rest of the glue dries, and that way I can keep moving along.
This was kind of funny. I had posted this uh, shot on Instagram and someone asked, hey, where's the S in Craftsman? And I hadn't even noticed it. And uh, so I had to go scrounge around the shop floor and I found the S that wasn't finished. So I had to pause everything, go back through, cut it, four coats of paint <laughs> and so I could finish that side. But I'm sure glad I posted that and uh, someone caught it because I wasn't even paying attention. That would have been really bad if I glued that up. <laughs> Not very craftsman-like of me. Well everyone, that turned out amazing. I couldn't be happier. I went with the simple black and white colors because I wanted this to be visible from a long ways and I love the simple classic look. Sorry I didn't get to the timber frame hanger for this one, but if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon because I will be posting that video in a couple weeks and it should look really cool seeing that sign hang outside. I also posted links to all the products I use down in the description and links to my website where I list favorite tools, I sell plans, and have merchandise with these same logos on them if you're interested in that. Thanks so much for stopping by and I hope to see you on the next one. Take care.